Hello and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and I'm here with something a little different for this month. I am creating my design team sketch for Scrapbooking the Day Away. And this is the sketch that Anne Marie created and she is our fearless leader. And we have new design team sketches every Friday. And this one is for tomorrow, which well, of course, when you see this, it'll be today. <laughs> It'll go live on Friday. And I'm documenting these pictures of a baseball game of my friend's son. And I'm using Coco Vanilla's No Limits. And I want to try and use up some of my stash because I'm running low and I really want to get it used up even though I love it and I don't want it to all be gone. Um, I want to get it used. So I've got some six by eight papers. I cut a, cir a big 10 and a half inch circle, which is too big, um, out of one of the papers. And I'm using this orange and blue because that is the color of the team. And I bet you could never guess what they're called. Mm -hmm, the crush. And so this top portion of stickers from the crush up is from this sticker set by Bella Boulevard um, Baseball. And I got this at Tuesday morning. There's basketball on the other side. And I don't do a lot of sports documenting, so I definitely wanted to pull that in. And then I'm using the rest of these are from the Cocoa Vanilla. Um, some of it is from No Limits and some of it is from a previous collection that I didn't have. But I had like a, an ephemera kit to it or something. So I have all these papers and my embellishments and my pictures and this awesome sketch. So let's see how this goes. So... First things first, I made some changes right from the start. My goal was, or my plan was, to use the dark blue and then those taller two lines or strips in the back I was going to have be that orange paper. But that orange paper on the other side is a uh, white brick with a gorgeous teal outside border. And I love it so much and I have an idea for it. So I decided that I would pull some scraps out and work with those instead. I am going to gut the orange and use it but I still would have the outside of my um, that paper and so this right here is also from the Coco Vanilla collection I cut it out of one side is um, uh, the cut aparts and I haven't been using those as much and I'm really down to like maybe one or two more layouts with this collection tops so so I pulled those three strips of scrap out um, the teal paper and even though she has two I've just broken that one up and I think that I um really well I don't think I do I <laughs> love the way that that looks and I, that's one thing I love about sketches is that you kind of take it and interpret it the way that it's going to work for you and this is what was going to work for me and so plus I wanted the orange to be um where she has a red square now my circle is too big now I don't mind the way that it looks I wanted it to be a pretty big part of this layout because it's a baseball layout and I thought that's why I did a white circle but I still feel like it could have I should have made it either nine and a half or ten at the not at the most but I wasn't going to cut it out and then end up having a big circle in the middle so after faffing around and fiddling, I decide I'm not going to worry about it being exact like hers. I've already made a little adjustment with those three strips in the back and not the two. And so it's not going to come down as far as her, that orange piece is not going to come down as far. So I get the papers down the way I like them. I'm about to put my picture down and hers is coming off of the circle a little. So I want to do that, but then I have orange at the top. Um, where I had matted that picture so I just flipped it around so that the blue's on the top and so it doesn't just disappear into that orange background paper and so now there's orange at the top in the middle and on well there will be on the bottom as well so I get that picture down and then this next picture I want um I want it to come off the bottom a little. Now hers is not torn like mine, but I love that torn feature. I didn't want to lose that bit of that paper. And I thought if it helped bring it down off the page um, to where it would be that bright um, contrast between that aqua color and that dark blue, I thought that would look really good. So I maneuver it to where that's going to work for me. And then after some trial and error with the circular picture that is 
definitely not um, perfect circle because I cut it by hand. <laughs> um, I got that cut out and I used that orange paper in the background because the big portion at the bottom was going to get covered. So I wasn't wasting, guys. I wasn't wasting and I cut that teal paper over there on the right side as well. So this is from the cut apart, the little six by eight cut apart. I decided I wanted to use this. She has journaling written over there and so I thought this would be the perfect way to do that. I do not journal on camera because I'll talk specifically about the team and where we were and, you know, I don't necessarily want to put that information out into the world. It's not my kid. <laughs> so, um, not that I would be sharing all that information about my own kid, but I definitely am not going to do it about a friend's kid. So I wanted to give this a little bit more, um, definition from that background and I was going to just ink it, but then decided I've, I had this scrap of the star paper. So I went ahead and matted the um, journaling cut apart on that and then I do ink that with um, it's kind of a mixture I had um, a hickory smoke on there and then I used my same dauber on my black soot so it's kind of mostly black soot but you know <laughs> little bit of both. So I pull these little banners or pennants that say yay um, and best kid ever and I put those on here and I'm okay with the one that's coming off a little bit. I'm tempted to move it back some so it's not coming off the circle but I haven't decided. It, I leave it this way. This is how it's going to end up for you seeing it the way it is now but I I. I may move that before I put this layout away. This is from this year. This is, goes in my 2022 album. And I decided because it was getting late and I want I needed to get this layout done. But I also wanted to have a video for Friday. I thought I would go ahead and do that. So um, if you all have not been here before while well, I've talked about um, scrapbooking the day away. It started out on YouTube or not YouTube, but on Facebook and it's still there and you can join that group. There's lots of inspiration, lots of great places to talk and chat and share layouts and, and get answers and things like that. But, uh, Anne Marie started a website and it's scrapbooking with com, And I will put that in my, um, up at the link below in the description box. Um, before I go on with that story, um, I know that you all are looking at the Go On Girl. You can't even see the title of this layout because you put white stickers on white paper. I promise I'm going to make that work, okay? I just wanted to point that out before I go on because you all probably say, I'm not watching this crazy lady anymore. She's put a title on here and you can't even see it. So anyway... <laughs> Um, I joined Anne Marie's original group on Facebook in September, late August, early September of 2020. And on January the 1st, she had like a, of 21, she had a, um, like weekend prompts where she posted prompts like every hour over the weekend. And I started scrapbooking that day like on the regular and I have scrapbooked a layout every day since then except for the five days four days that I was at Disney World in 2021 that includes road trips because I scrapbook in the car <laughs> um, and at the beach and everywhere else okay so here's what I did I got my jelly roll midnight pin is this a jelly roll nope moonlight 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 in this blue color and it's, um, and then I trace around the alpha so that you, it stands out. I wanted to use the baseball stickers because I don't scrapbook very much baseball. I do have a layout for 2017 that I'm going to do at some point in the ne near future. And that's baseball. But I have an entire sheet of these stickers. So I needed to get some of them used up. So anyway, um, so after that, because of Anne Marie's encouragement and all the awesome people that I have met in that group, I started um, scrapbooking regularly, posting layouts. And then in March, I start well, in, in um, February, I started watching YouTube videos because I had never thought to look at YouTube for scrapbooking. And somebody linked Rebecca Lockhart and uh, State Goddess, which is Sandy Reversky, and I started watching them. So late March, I started my YouTube channel, so and here I am. 
So, but I have still created a layout every day since then, at least one, if not more, and over a thousand layouts in the year 2021. And I owe a lot of that to Anne Marie and her encouragement and inspiration. She's got lots of fun and fabulous things. It's a free site, or you can join the membership site. It's awesome. And I promise you should try it out. So like I said, the link's below. Here is my finished layout. I really do love how this turned out. I love uh, spending time with friends and then documenting those times because it's two passions all together. So I hope that you'll go check out um, Anne Marie's website and I hope you'll come back and see me again tomorrow. I will be here with another layout. Who knows what kind? Have a great day and happy scrapping.